Welcome back. How's everyone doing? It's Valentine's Day and I am super excited to be here and to be sharing with y'all. Um, who needs a Valentine when you have amazing YouTube followers and an awesome dog and not to mention some crawfish. So I'm really excited. Um, I went back to Cravert's today and I got their Valentine's special. And so it's so sweet. The owners, the wife for Valentine's Day wanted shrimp or er, crawfish etouffee. And so the chef, who's her husband, acquiesced. And so that was their special. And so they're, they got, they have crawfish and shrimp etouffee as a special. So I got some to try. And um, then I got three pounds of crawfish and two clusters of snow crab. I would have gotten shrimp, but this is how fresh, you know, everything is for them. They, someone bought them out last night and they didn't have time to go buy more today until after I left. So they didn't have shrimp when I was there. That's okay. Um, I have shrimp in my etouffee, so that's good. And I'll survive. It was delicious last time, but I will be very happy with what I have. And those people, they are the nicest people, guys. Oh my gosh. Seriously, so sweet. I had an amazing conversation with each of them while I was there waiting for my food and I had a snowball, my first authentic New Orleans snowball with um, with the owner and she picked my flavor for me. And so sweet, so, so sweet. Oh my gosh, but enough about that. Let's go ahead and dig in here. I'm starving. Oh man, just as much flavor as I remember. Now, traffic was horrendous for me getting back with this, and it's not close to my house. So it may be a little bit cold, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. This is so good. If y'all didn't see my first video I did with them, um, check it out. I'll link it below and at the end. But, yeah, let me move this. It's, I mean, this is real deal, authentic Cajun. It was so funny, I was talking with, um, the boiler as he was finishing up the crawfish and he was testing them and he's like this is the best part about boiling and you get to taste test and i'm like right that was always my job okay sorry just making sure that my audio was recording um So that was always my job, job, at my grandpa's boils. I would just stand out there with him and wait to taste test because you have to, um, you gotta make sure. Oh my gosh. You have to make sure that um, they've soaked long enough to soak up the flavor. So he was in the back there testing them, and he, oh, it made me laugh. He's like, oh yeah, that's good. I should try another one just to make sure. I'm like, you sound just like me. I'm like, yeah, that tastes perfect, but that one could have been a fluke. Y'all should go check out my Instagram if you haven't already. It's at eat with ginger and spice. 
and I post some things in between these videos. Um, you know, just just little things uh, on restaurants I'm going to. Things I'm cooking. Some little um, videos and pictures of Allie. My dog. And I have um, a little bit more info about this place on there too. Oh my gosh. He did an amazing job on these today. I'm so sorry. I cannot for the life of me remember their names at the moment. I'll have to add that in. They are so sweet and my brain is just so scattered. I can't remember anything. Mm. Mm. Sorry, itchy nose. I told him about my cooking channel too. And while I was sitting there, she looked at a couple of my videos and saw my air fryer. Holy cow. Air fryer lobster tail nuggets and steam 10. And she got super excited about that. So that one was a good recipe. Really pretty simple. something different, not your normal run-of-the-mill lobster recipe, which I like. I like to change it up. Mm. I've got to get used to this hair, not being able to put it up. This is, I mean, even though it had to sit because I took so long to get here and I had to get set up, once I did, that's the downfall of not having food delivered is when you get home, you have your food, but you, know, you may not be ready. But it's still like just cooked perfectly. Look at how easily that came out of the shell. I mean, just perfect. To get the timing right on that, an occasion boil takes a little of practice because you have the active cook time of the heat being on and then the more passive cook time of soaking it in the hot water. He gave me extra mushrooms because he knows real Cajuns love the mushrooms. I'm just kidding. I don't really know if that's true. He just asked me if I liked the mushrooms and I said I love them. So he gave me extra. Oh, these are so good. 
Let's try the corn. Look at that. Mm. Seasoned and cooked perfectly. It's sweet. I talked about that I had my first authentic New Orleans snowball. If y'all don't know what that is, it's um very fine shaped ice. Like it's like snow. It is like creamy in texture. It's so fine. And then you have your flavors you can put on it. But it's traditionally served with sweet and condensed milk on top. Oh my gosh. So that's what we had. We had. Mm. Lime juice. So good. We had um, strawberries. Strawberry flavor with sweet and condensed milk. So it was like strawberries and cream. And I told her it reminded me of. this dessert I used to make all the time. That was, you got frozen berries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, dewberries if you could get them. And then you make this warm, um, white chocolate sauce. So you make this warm white chocolate sauce and you pour it over top of frozen berries and so that sauce kind of freezes to the berries and it tastes just like this except for the berries there's more texture and there's more berries so not just strawberry but the sweetened condensed milk freezes on top of the shaved ice and gets icy and delicious Just like that sauce would. Oh, come on, I was just praising you. Down here, I just have my lime with chili salt. You know, my norm. This does not need it. They're so juicy and flavorful on their own. But occasionally, just that extra zing of, of citrus is good. You could smell when they, he was boiling that he puts all kinds of citrus in his boil. Probably oranges and grapefruit, lemon, all that good stuff. Those mushrooms have so much flavor. I'm telling you guys.
overcooked. But it was a little baby and very soft shell, so that's okay. See how we do with this claw here without a cracker. Well, that's not promising. Take a little try of this etouffee. So he said this was his first time making it on the truck. You know, he usually just makes a small batch at home for the family. And I don't know if y'all have ever tried to scale up a recipe, but it's not that easy. And then to do it while you're trying to do 10 other things simultaneously, oh yeah. That can be tough. Some good French bread. Just dip it in and try this, just like this for now. Mm. Well, I don't think he needs to worry. Dang, that's good. And taste a little bit of the sherry. Mm. And look at these big, look at these big hunks of shrimp. Mm. 
that's delicious. Have some rice. Rice in here. And he used freshly boiled crawfish. Mm. That's good. Instead of like the frozen packs of tail meat that you can get at the store. That's what a lot of people do. It's got lots of nice onions. Mm-hmm. Look at that. If they do it on the cardigan, I think that they're gonna have some garlic butter to put on the french bread. Or that would be the clencher. But the flavor is on point. I like a little kick to mine. So I'm gonna add some of my Papa's homemade hot sauce. It's not like it's super overwhelming or anything. Actually, it's not overwhelming at all. You just notice this slight warmth in the back of your throat. Oh, yeah. Mm. You did great. This is delicious. I can't imagine how good your small batches at home are, because this is fantastic. Wow. Seriously, guys, the way every bite makes you want to roll your eyes back in your head. That's how you know it's good. I want to do a timed um, crawfish video. I know I did the one pound challenge, but that was kind of you know not a great indicator of how fast I could actually feel. So I'm thinking about doing like a Just a video of maybe three pounds or five pounds, we'll see. No heads, no claws, just eat the tails and I'll eat the rest later.
So for those of you that have been asking, thanks for asking. I hope it's been pretty good lately. Um, been on the, the upswing. You know, I still have my days that are rough. Like I slept maybe one hour last night. So that wasn't great. But I have more, more ups and downs now, which is the right direction. I got a hair analysis back and it showed Um, my body's detoxing a lot of aluminum, mercury, and arsenic right now, which were all ingredients in the medication that I thought I was detoxing, so just kind of confirms our suspicions. All right, you guys, my battery needs to be changed. So let me get a new one and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back guys. I don't know if y'all can hear. We got people yelling on all sides of me right now. Out in the breezeway, upstairs, outside my porch. There's just a lot of noise going on. Now they're honking at each other. Wow. Mushroom.
while I was up, I got some of the squid salad that I got from Groomer Seafood today. Look at that deliciousness. Let's see if we can show you. Mm-hmm. A little kelp. That is so good. A nice little sweetness to kind of balance out the salty, savory, delicious crawfish. So I was reading up on um, omega-3s because I really need a lot of omega-3s right now. And apparently, Squid oil has really healthy omega 3s. I never heard that. I'm gonna do a little bit more research into it, but I had never even heard of squid for omega 3 at all. You guys are having a really wonderful day today. And I hope you're on the other side of this camera enjoying some delicious food with me. It's been a pretty good day for me. It's been very busy. And I'm definitely going to need a nap after this because I, like I said, I only slept about an hour last night, so I'm pretty tired. I also really need to clean my kitchen. It's not like a mess mess, it's just a... My dishwasher is full of clean dishes that I need to put away so that I can put my rinsed dirty dishes in. There, though. I'm always making a
Excuse me. Guys, I really cannot recommend this place enough. If it wasn't just the food, now that I've met the people, they're absolutely amazing. So nice, so helpful. I really love what they're doing. And when you love to cook the food that you're cooking, it really shows and the products that you put out, like it really does. So everything here has been absolutely delicious. I haven't had the red beans and rice yet, but next time. And then we have some other soup specials, but I've gotten all the ones that I could when they had them. Chicken and sausage gumbo is amazing. Last time I added my leftover shrimp to it and that was, oh my gosh. If they have the crawfish etouffee again, I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. And their New Orleans snowballs are really good too. Very, very sweet. I could really go for one right now though, after all of this. That had kind of been my hope, was to be able to eat there and um, film there and then have a snowball at the end. But the timing of it was just really bad. Because I had gone to rumors and gotten seafood that was in my car and it was on ice but still I wanted to get get it home as soon as possible and also if I had eaten there at three when it was ready traffic would have been 10 times worse trying to go home. Mm -hmm. Anyways, long story short, I didn't, I obviously didn't film there. I did do some Instagram filming, so you can check out my story or check out my Instagram and see some pictures of it. Like I said in the last video, it's just a, oh, you know, it's just a food truck that's in the parking lot of a sit-go gas station. So it's nothing. Nothing major, but it's all you need. They put out some tables. We have a band today since it's Valentine's Day. All right, we're down to the last two. The band wasn't there when I was there. It was coming at five, but I saw I just saw some Instagram pictures of them.
so freaking delicious. Mm. And another good one, guys. I got some onion in the head. And look at these claws. Very, very good. We're done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really enjoy spending time with you. And I'm so excited about this place, guys. Like, it is so good. Snowballs are fantastic. The crawfish is fantastic. Crab is amazing. All of their soups and stuff that I've tried have been, I mean, just on point. And the people are nice to boot. So, my name is Craver. It's their food truck in San Antonio. And I just highly recommend that you check them out if you're in the area and you like Cajun boils or Cajun food or you just want to try it. Maybe you just want a snowball. Go have one. They're delicious. Um, the link will be down below for their Facebook. They're awesome. Um, I hope you all have a super blessed evening and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you all for joining me tonight. I love getting to eat and chat with you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'd love to hear any suggestions you have for eating challenges or foods to try. So let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. If you're interested in learning some fun recipes, check out my cooking channel. And please follow me on Instagram and Facebook to keep up with any updates or video teasers that may come your way. Well, I hope you all have a super blessed night and I'll see you again soon. Bye!